Exposition is a uniquely Olin event. It is an event where every member of the Olin student body presents a project of their choice to an audience of faculty, staff, students, and external assessors that are invited onto campus to see and help celebrate our students' achievements. The exposition is unique in its scope and content. It basically allows students to choose whatever they like from the entire learning continuum of the Olin education, from passionate pursuits to co-curriculars to their actual classwork, technical presentations and non-technical presentations. I'm Paul Mandel. I'm a junior at Olin College. I've always been fascinated by robotics. Uh, the idea of being able to create something that thinks for itself is really, really interesting to me, and it's a lot of fun. So this project is basically a robotic development platform for Olin to use, or for any student in Olin to use. So anybody who wants now can come and write software for this and run it and not have to spend the semester and most of the summer that I did building this device. So um, it makes the development time for the software much, much shorter. My name is Elizabeth Neen. I am a senior here at Olin College and I'm a mechanical engineering major and also I'm working on my master's at Babson through the joint Olin Babson program which is actually where I worked on this project. So this project came out of my Babson product design and development course which is actually being co-taught with Olin next semester. In it I had a team of seven students which was five of us from the Babson MBA program and two students from the Rhode Island School of Design. We were given a project by a company named P. Colino to design an outdoor playset that fit their brand image, um, which is often bright, playful colors with a wood undertone. Their idea is playfully smart, is what they're going for, for a higher end market. So they've currently been working on furniture for indoor children use, play sets, desks, chairs, etc and really went to branch out into the outdoor market. So our team got together and started from that very blank slate and worked and designed this place that you see today. And the um, company was really happy with it and they're actually working on taking it to market. The reason why I chose to present this project is because it is the one I really enjoyed working on this semester. Um, it's not every day you get to go to visit playgrounds for homework and just to get in the atmosphere with the children. I'm Dan Oak from the class of 2011 and I'm doing one of the few non-technical presentations here about a class I took in Shakespeare and film. And one of the first things we did was silent Shakespeare. We watched a bunch of silent movies. And we thought, wow, that's really, really cool. It's sort of this dead, intimate art form. And we had to make a final project and we're like, okay, what can we do for that? We can make a silent film. We have inspiration here and we can do them without much time, without memorizing lines and with a very low budget. So we made Silent Hamlet. Ooh, this is the part when Laertes and I like switch swords and we both get fatally wounded. I'm Lindsay and this is Leif and we are presenting this uh, project that we did for computer architecture where we wanted to create hardware based cat and mouse game using an FPGA which is a field programmable gate array. Just use that because they're very, very useful for uh, student projects because you can reprogram them using electric fields instead of having to uh, create new hardware and have a new uh, die for that. We've got a mouse that runs around the screen. You have a cat that chases it. Uh, you can do a speed burst if the cat's getting close, if your energy hasn't run out yet. And then if the cat catches the uh, mouse, it displays a game over message. I'm Scott Carlson from Olin College, class of 2011. Uh, my project is on the flight of Lawn Chair Larry, also known as Larry Walters. One day he had the idea of tying 42 helium balloons to his lawn chair and flying in his backyard. However, his tether broke and he began floating away. In our simulation, our goal was to find out if there was a number of balloons he could pop simultaneously when he saw the field in order to have a survivable impact with the field and not crash into the power lines. Cool. So I'm Eric Munson, class of 2008. Um, I'm a senior this year and was doing my entrepreneurship capstone in the fine arts, examining how the artist acts as an entrepreneur and at the same time you can look at entrepreneurs as having artistic aspects to their work. And so businesses, like if you look at some of the entrepreneurial phenomena which have happened even just over the last 10 years, like the internet and web-based startups have really changed the way people look at media, knowledge, themselves, connectedness with others. Uh, which are all topics which get discussed traditionally in art, um, but the forums in which they're now seeing a lot of change and growth are actually entrepreneurial. So, like, there is this rich opportunity for crossover 
And so like one goal of this project was to sort of come up with a deliverable that could lead to um, basically a gallery installation looking at the topic and inspiring conversation in the arts community as well as for entrepreneurs.